What's up guys? This is Understanding Jiu Jitsu with DCD. Today's match we have Marilla Santana who's the guy in white here and we have Jolana Montero who is the guy in blue. Now Marilla Santana is very well known for his pressure passing, his X guard and his just strong, strong base. And I would say Jolana Montero is very well known for his collar sleeve, his guard and his kind of explosive uh, Toriando style passing. So let's get right into this. So here we are, Jolando's kind of acting kind of tough. You know, trying to scare Murillo, which is a common tactic by a young gun, I guess you could say. And now Murillo pulls here. Now, he definitely does not pull to a very, very strong position. So let's kind of understand the pull that he does. He just doesn't, he just grabs the grips and sits. I believe he pulled like this because he expected Orlando to, to pull with him and then he would probably come on top and get an advantage. Now, when you pull normally, you want to pull with very, very strong controls and into a good position with your legs on your opponent. As you can see here, Murillo just has two points of control, his, his arms on Orlando's collars, okay? And now ideally he would have some sort of control on the pants because you wanna try and use all the four points of control that you have um, when you're trying to control your opponent right off the get-go, okay? So let's keep going. And because of this, this poor control from the get-go, Orlando has options to start trying to pass. But uh, Marilla is a really, really cool thing here, and this is one of the, the things that I wanted to mention, is if you're ever in a tournament and somebody's passing you like crazy, don't be afraid to stand up, but make sure you stand up safely. As you can see here, uh, Marilla is standing up safely. He's, he's grabbing the tricep, not allowing uh, Orlando to run around to the back and attack the back. So once again, if you're ever feeling in trouble, it's okay to stand up, it's okay to reset the position, um, but just be aware, make sure you stand up safely, okay? Let's keep going here. So Orlando repools. Now, one, one more competition strategy before we move on from this is if you almost pass your opponent's guard, which I believe maybe Orlando thought that he would receive an advantage for, for this near pass attempt or this turtling attempt, if you pull guard directly after this, you'll be up in advantage and in guard, and that's a very, very advantageous thing uh, when you're a guard player. So just keep that in mind. That is, a, that is a possible competition strategy that you can play. You can almost pass the guard, get an advantage, then re-pull really quickly, and your opponent will not receive two points, and you'll be up by an advantage and in the guard position, which is a very, very good position to be in uh, in a tournament. Let's keep going. So, sorry, sorry to give you guys so many details, but this is a really cool entry into the over-under position by Murillo. As you can see here, Murillo, I'll use my little pointer tool, uh, he's opening up uh, Orlando's legs via his elbow. He has a collar grip here, and he already has an underhook on this leg here, so it's going to be very, very easy to enter into this over-under style position, okay? And watch him just bring that knee over that leg, over that right, right leg, uh, excuse me, uh, over the left leg of Orlando here brings it over and he's right into this over-under position. That is an excellent entry uh, from the open guard into the over-under position. And you'll see how uh, Murillo is staying very, very tight right away, right on those hips, trying to constantly pull himself into Orlando. And he's already kind of beat this, this foot line here, as you can see here. Now he's, he's basically just trying to get past that knee line and then moving on to that hip line, and then he'll be finally past uh, Orlando's guard. That's kind of what he's going for in this over-under situation. And you can see how he's constantly putting a lot of down, downward pressure uh, using that gravity uh, as a great advantage, right? It's always important as a top person to really try and use gravity to your advantage because, I mean, it's, it's everything. And you'll see here, in this over-under position, rather than doing classic over-under stuff, Murillo is currently just trying to grab as many grips as possible and stay as tight as possible. And we'll see here this, this grip that he has on the collar. Now, we'll talk about this grip more later in this little episode here, but ideally he would have a thumb down grip in order to pass because this, this grip here is going to allow him to not only finish an over-under pass, but also transition to a stack pass scenario, which we'll see later here in the match. She's putting that downward pressure the whole time, really doing well. Uh, Orlando was just doing the common defense by pushing on Marilla's head. And as you can see, he's kind of overcorrecting a little bit, uh, pushing on that left side and not, not worrying as much about that right side. There he is with the sleeve grip on that right side kind of defending, but we'll see how, see how that plays a role in a second. And, and just a quick uh, kind of introduction to the over-under position. Marilla's goal from this over-under position is to force Orlando's back to the mat. His goal is to force Orlando's back to the mat here. 
And in doing so, his hips, Herlando's hips, will be turning to this right side. And that will allow Murillo to easily walk around. Oh, that will allow Mur Murillo easily to walk around to this side here and finish a pass. That would be the classic way to finish an over under pass, okay? And just a quick note as well. Um, one thing that Rolando is doing very, very well from this position is he's not allowing Murillo's head to get to this far side hip here. If Murillo's head were to be here on this hip here, it would be much easier for Murillo to, to really put pressure and force those hips of Rolando to that other side. Okay, let's continue. So Murillo's kind of moving up the body, moving up closer and closer and closer to the hips. And Rolando's just constantly pushing him back, maybe trying to play a collar sleeve in this scenario, which is not a bad option. Murillo's staying very tight really just trying to tire out or a hold on to the situation. And as you can see here, he has switched to this thumb down grip as I'll show you in a second. And right now, this is a great example of him kind of getting over this knee line here, okay? If he gets over this knee line, it will be much, much easier for him to pass to this side, excuse me, pass around to this side like this, okay? constant downward pressure here making it very very difficult and this is a great 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 viewpoint here he now has this thumb down grip and as you can see Orlando is way over correcting on this side okay that's that over correction is going to allow Murillo to walk around to this side and easily start stack passing Orlando so this was a big mistake uh, by Orlando in this situation to over correct on this left side here as you see, he just does that nice cut around. And now he's into this really strong stack pass scenario. Now from the stack pass, a few things to note really quick is right now, uh, Orlando's feet are on the mat, okay? And his hips are very, very high in the air. Uh, Murillo's goal in this position is to keep Orlando's hips off the mat. If, if it, Orlando's goal in this position is to force his hips down to the mat and recover his legs back into the position. But it's gonna be very, very difficult due to this constant forward pressure uh, Marilla is putting this constant forward pressure with his chest on Marilla, uh, on Orlando's lower back, okay? And as you can see, his toes are constantly pressing in, and this is not going to allow Orlando to ever bring his hips back down to the mat, okay? Let's keep going here. And let's just take a look. One last little stop here. All this space here, all, all this space here is going to be utilized in order to take the back here in a second. So just be wary of this space and we'll see how Marilla uses that space to take that back. Staying nice and tight here. Orlando doing a good job defending. And Marilla does an excellent jump and inserts this twister hook inside. That was a very, very beautiful entry. Let's just watch this really quick one more time because it is really, really nice entry here. He's gonna try and, he's almost gonna leap into the position. Look at that entry, beautiful roll. And now he has this twister hook. Okay, now this twister hook is really, really strong. It allows you to externally rotate the knee of your opponent and makes it makes it very, very uncomfortable. and allows you to kind of extend that hook and make take, it makes taking the back much easier. Okay, it makes kind of uh, force, forces your opponent to show his back, therefore making it easier to take the back, if that makes sense. And Orlando doing an excellent job here defending. As you can see, he really defends... Uh, Marillo's grip attacks very, very well, and he rolls to the other side. Now is doing an excellent job staying very, very tight. He's almost doing like a, a hip abduction exercise here. He's staying very, very tight on Holando's thigh here. Now, if uh, Marillo were to be lower on Holando's thigh, like, you know, kind of more closer to this knee, he would not be able to keep this position and Holando would escape. So this is a really great point of kind of like that that kind of being over that knee line and staying very, very tight. And that's kind of how most positions are. Uh, if you can get past that knee line and stay very tight, you're gonna be able to, to really either put a lot of strong pressure on your opponent, or you're just gonna be able to stabilize the position and stay there for long periods of time, okay? And as you can see, Orlando here is trying to put his back to the mat, okay? Ideally, his back here would be on the mat on this side, okay? That's kind of his goal in this position. It's not an easy thing to do because Marilla is uh, kind of defending this option very well. 
ideally Murillo would have a like a horse collar grip and he would be able to force him to the camera side and, and then take the back. So we'll see what, we'll, I'll kind of walk you through what's gonna happen next, okay? And what, a great lesson here is Murillo's staying very patient here. He's not going crazy. He's not just trying to do things all at once. This is a great lesson for beginners. Sometimes in some positions, especially a position like this, you need to be patient. You can't just go crazy, right? Murillo is kind of giving up on this back take. Look at this nice little twister hook here he has. This is going to allow him to stand up and, and get up into a strong passing position a lot easier, right? And now this back take has now just turned into one of Murillo's favorite passes, which is this underhook style uh, pass, which normally he, he goes to mount or he kind of forces his opponent to show his back and then takes the back, okay? We'll see how he does this here. Staying very, very nice and strong with that collar grip in the back. Orlando is honestly in a, a lot of trouble in this situation. And look at this collar grip here. This is what I was referring to. He has a horse collar grip on 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 this on this on the gear of Orlando. Now this is really going to allow Marilla to, to to really lift Orlando's back off the mat, allowing allowing Marilla to start really starting to move his chest below his back, uh, Orlando's back, and then start putting forward pressure and keeping uh, keeping Orlando's back off the mat and then allowing uh, Murillo to finally attack the back, if that makes sense. Let's look at this constant forward pressure. Murillo's on his toes, pushing forward. Really, really trying to force Orlando to show his back. Because if, if, if your opponent's back is on the mat, you're not gonna be able to take his back, right? It's kind of a, it, it's logical, but some people don't really think like that. And as you can see here, this is a nice little uh, view of how Marilla is putting in a choke here. Now Marilla putting in a choke, this is a great lesson for beginners, is when your opponent is defending the back very well, sometimes you have to start going for chokes so that your opponent becomes scared and, and kind of loses focus so much on defending the back and then kind of becomes focused on defending the choke. So it's a great, great strategy as to when your opponent is defending the back, start going for these chokes here and start adjusting these collar rips because it'll scare your opponent and make the, taking the back much easier. So as we can see here, Marilla has finally pulled, or yeah, kind of pulled Orlando uh, up off the mat. And now his chest, just like in that stack pass position, is behind uh, Orlando's back, putting pressure forward, keeping that back from going back to the mat, which will allow Marilla to really start attacking um, the back here. And one one more note to, to mention here is when you're when you're when you have your choking hand in, make sure that your elbow remains tight to your opponent's body. See how uh, Marula's elbow is pretty tight here. If it wasn't tight, Orlando would easily be able to escape his head out from underneath his elbow, and then he would be safe from any sort of choking option. And once again, Murillo being very patient in this scenario, which once again, patience is, is key, especially in pressure passing jiu-jitsu. One thing to note as well that's probably going through Holano's mind is if you were to roll camera side, maybe the rest would see that as a kind of him fleeing the mat. But really that's his only choice in this situation. And so he rolls, and, and Orlando does an excellent job um, kind of almost getting out of this position. As we can see here, what, what, what would be Orlando's keys to success in this position? Well, for one, he would want to stop this leg of Murillo's from exiting kind of underneath, uh, underneath Orlando's hips, okay? And if he were to stop this, then he would have to kind of create space by pushing away on Murillo's face. And then finally, he would be able to circle his head underneath this grip here and in escape the position. It's it's much much easier said than done. And Marilla does an excellent job transition to this triangle, and he's also reinforcing this collar grip that he has on the neck with this with his other hand. Therefore, it's basically impossible for Orlando now to take his head out of this really, really difficult choking scenario. And that's the top there. 
really amazing performance by both of the athletes. I mean, Orlando had an excellent uh, passing attempt in the beginning, but Murillo really, really shined in his in his uh, pressure passing and, and stack over under kind of uh, system that he has. And I, it's, a, it's an amazing system. If you guys want to see more on this system, I'm going to be releasing a passing uh, course very soon that goes over on this style of passing. And I also have multiple videos already on Murillo uh, Santana's system that you can find on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys soon. Us.